Oh, I didn't see you there. Um, hi, welcome to the vlog. So we are going to the movies today. We are going to see The Jesus Revolution and I am so excited. What is on the... Ah, that's better. Hmm, glad I got that off my face. So like I was saying, we're going to see the movies today. <laughs> Gonna see Jesus Revolution. I'm actually not sure Mm, if it's like a kids movie kind of friendly um i've only seen the trailer but i know it's going to be inspirational and if there's anything that um comes up that is a little more like not understood by kids i'll just explain it to my daughter as best i can but yeah i'm excited we don't go to the movies often but when we do because we don't like to waste money how many people are out there wanting to waste money with a terrible movie? There really aren't a lot of great movies coming out, especially these days because of the pandemic and it's pushed a lot of things back. But yeah, we're excited about that. And that is the main plan today. We are fortunate to be able to homeschool and set our own schedule. My daughter is actually graduating third grade tomorrow. Um, it's February. Tomorrow's February no, today's February 28th and tomorrow's March 1st and it'll be her last day of third grade and she graduates, then she'll have a month off because our plan is for her to graduate high school by the time she's 16. I don't think you need to be in school your whole life, bruh. I don't think you need to be in school that long. So she takes a month off between each grade and that should get her on track to graduating at 16. And if she doesn't wanna do that and it's too much pressure, we'll slow down, but so far she's doing really good, so. I got nothing else to say about that. Okay, we're gonna keep getting ready. We're gonna be leaving the house in about 40 minutes um, to get on the road, um, to be there a little bit earlier. My husband's parents are going to be meeting us there, so it should be good for the whole family. Hey, you guys, and hey, you girls. So, um, I um, can animate on my iPad, but I don't have enough space on my iPad, so I can't do that right now. So that's why I'm drawing right now. And they're so cute. My drawings are so cute. I'm drawing like a little girl right now. But these are other drawings. So this little boy is her son. And this little girl is holding a lollipop. And that girl is on a bike. And she has a doll and they're matching outfits somehow. And then there's like birds in the sky and then the sun. And then this girl. I didn't finish her that yet. Do you want to tell them why you like drawing? Why I like drawing is because I want to draw. I don't know why I want to draw. It's just fun. And my favorite thing to draw is people. Do you know why? Oh, no. because I get to do their different expressions and dress them up. Yeah, I think you're really good at expressions. Thank you. How do you feel about seeing the movie today? I think it's going to be fun because we haven't been out in a while. And then also, like, it feels like we're going to a special event because Mommy put on her makeup. Mm -hmm. And then I'm dressing up in the cutest thing ever. I also got, like, a cute candy, um, like, outfit last night. I think it was last night's last night. And then I did that. And then I put it on and it was like so cute. It, I'm like a brown vanilla pea. Like it was like that, it was adorable. Vanilla pea's from Wreck-It Ralph in case they don't know. Oh yeah, it's from Wreck-It Ralph. Go check out that movie. And then the second one, Rocket Ralph breaks the internet. I love those two ones. He is so funny and she is the funniest. And then two more questions for you. Is that okay? Yeah. Better. First, how do you feel about graduating third grade tomorrow? Really good because I don't get school for a long time. And then second question is, do you like being on camera in these vlogs? Yeah. Is that who I am? Yes, it is. Because some kids don't. And people on the internet sometimes say, why do you show your children? Why do you show your babies? And then I just- They do not sing a song on the internet. <laughs> I want everybody to know 
that she loves being on camera. More than love. More than love. More than love. <laughs> this is a total, totally normal way to take a nap. Just so you guys know, this is very, very normal. We're keeping it simple with jewelry today. I'm gonna be wearing this. They say, according to the app, that it's gonna be in like the 50s today. So I'm hoping that I'm not gonna be too cold in this, but we're gonna be inside, which should be okay. And then we have our handy dandy diaper bag that we take. I do not carry a purse when I'm with my kids because I just use a pocket. I have like my wallet and my phone and like I just throw it in there or else I just feel all over the place. And so that's kind of it. We make sure we have snacks, make sure we got diapers, extra clothes, just in case we have an accident, but pretty simple. And then I am I am wearing makeup, as you see. And it's crazy because like, for me, I am almost 40. I'm 37 years old and I still deal with acne. And it's usually when I'm very stressed out. And January was rough. Our year started off rough. February, things turned around. I feel kind of back to normal. This week, things should be mostly back to normal. Yeah, so how's your year going? Like, it's gonna be March by the time you see this. But yeah, I know a lot of people where this year kind of started off pretty rough for very, very different reasons. And I'm just like, Lord, I just had to get to the point where I'm like, I have my life, I have my family, I'm healthy, I'm safe, I have a roof over my head, I have food to eat. It's like all of my basic needs are covered, so how can I really complain? Even though there's other things that can be very overwhelming or stress stressful, worrying about it is not gonna change it. So that's just kind of where we are. But things are definitely taking a turn for the better. And I feel like even taking that social media break, which it wasn't planned, was probably for our good, just to be able to focus on the Lord and what he wants us to do. And so like that was very critical and it's good to like be back and coming out of that and get back to normal and have like new assignments and uh, like a fresh <laughs> beginning of something. Hello. Mm. What you eating? Eat nom Eat nom nom. Eat nom nom. Are you excited? Yeah. Do you look so cute? Where's baby? Yeah. Where's baby? Ollie, can you tell me where baby is? Right there? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Diggy, 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 diggy. Diggy, 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 diggy. Baby. I'm baby. Do you need help with your banana? <laughs> what are you doing with it? <laughs> okay. Me, 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 me. It's green? Yeah. Can you say hi? Ollie, look at me. Say hi. There, there, there. Oh, you want to show it? I can see it on this side. I can see it on this side. Look, I'll show you. Look at the screen. Look at look at the phone. See, it's right there.
today was a long day. When you have kids and go anywhere, it feels kind of like a field trip. So, oh, oh my gosh, that was so fast. Look at how fast I showered and got clean. So I would like to talk to you guys about my thoughts on the Jesus Revolution movie and just about revival that is currently happening in the world today. Let's go. <sighs> Here we are, tucked into bed. Um, usually, for myself, I'm the first one to start getting ready for bed in my family. So I'll like do my shower, brush my teeth and stuff, set things up for the others. And then um, Joel will be taking care of the kids um, while I'm doing that. And then I come into our room and I kind of like decompress and have some mommy time to myself. So that is what I'm doing now. And I wanted to talk about the movie. So the Jesus Revolution is definitely different. I did watch some interviews from like the director of the movie and um, even Greg Laurie had an interview that he did. And just to get like the gist of like what the movie is about, what to expect. And I would say I definitely, there was some content that I didn't, uh, I wasn't aware that was in the movie. Maybe I should have researched better, but I'm just like, it's about Jesus and revival and all that stuff. So like what could go wrong? But there was some themes, spoiler alert, with drug use. And um, that was the main thing, um, drug and alcohol use that was um a little bit uncomfortable for my daughter because like the scary part of it but I was able to talk to her about that and um, she wasn't like oh I'm scarred by this movie and I can't believe you took me it was more just like oh okay like this is definitely going to be some lessons some deeper lessons than I expected to talk about but overall like it definitely was a very encouraging and inspiring film and I think the thing that was that was kind of a surprise to me was the realness of people's pride like when you are involved in like a great movement or move of God I think our human nature is for our pride and our ego to feel like wow look at what God is doing through me like he chose me and even if you look at a lot of people in the Bible like how many of them <laughs> ended up getting power hungry or thinking they could just get away with things or thinking maybe like the consequences won't apply to them or they just got so I don't know distracted or, or angry or just like I'm tired of doing this lord or whatever like there's I mean humans we're just not perfect and I'm kind of I'm very glad that they showed that it's like an unfortunate thing to see you know people deal with because you want everything to just be like let this be the most pure and beautiful and you know heartwarming movie it was like nothing bad but it's like it's real life and it's based on a true story of greg Laurie and uh, how harvest was kind of founded and side note i used to always see moms in tv shows have lotion but on their nightstand and they would like lotion their hands at night and I was like nobody does that like that's so weird and then here I am <laughs> and it might be my age it might be because of the weather and how dry it is in California but I definitely lotion my hands before I go to sleep because I'm like it has time to not be washing my hands all day because when you're a mom you just are washing your hands all the time like all of the time whether you're changing a diaper or cooking food like cleaning up you're always washing your hands so I feel like my skin gets really dry but anyways yeah my main takeaways I think from the film is just like to just let God move and I feel like a lot of times we pray for things and we don't when God chooses to answer that prayer sometimes it happens in a way that we don't want it to or expect it to so we're like this can't be God and a really great example of that is if you guys are familiar with what happened and kind of is currently happening with the Asbury revival that happened and potentially still happening in Kentucky where there's just this amazing move of God and there's a lot of people who are just very skeptical a lot of people who are even potentially afraid like I don't know like because what if this happens and what if that happens like should we is it it's, just, it's so emotional and is there like we should be looking for this and we should be looking for that and I'm just like I'm looking at the videos and I'm just like, 
how can people watch this and be so skeptical and be so scared? Like what? Like we've been praying for something like this to happen for so long and then it does happen and I'm like, I get it. It didn't happen the way maybe people expected it to, but like, really you guys? <laughs> like you're hating on this? That's crazy. So similar to the Jesus revolution, it's like a lot of times we look back on things and it's like, yeah, this was great and this was happening. And isn't that awesome? But in the time people are like, what is going on? What is this? What is up? And so that's why I feel like it's so important to have a personal relationship with Jesus and to be familiar with how the Holy Spirit is moving in your life because you don't want to get swept away in your own thoughts of like, well, it can't, this can't be God because it's not how I expected it. Or this can't be God because it's just different than what I wanted. Or this can't be God because this, how, this isn't how he moves in other people's life. Just be open to how God wants to move in your life. And, you know, keep praying about it. Like, if this is your will, Lord, like, give me confirmation. Like, different things like that. Because I've definitely had things happen in my life where I was like, this is the devil. <laughs> and, like, this is not God's will. Or that thought was definitely, like, from the pit of hell. And it's like, oh, that actually was God. He actually did want me to do that. I just didn't want to do that. <laughs> and then there's times where God unexpectedly surprises me in ways where I'm like, this is too good to be true. Like, the shoe's gonna drop, something bad is gonna happen, and I'm just waiting for it. So I lean on not my own understanding, but the Lord's understanding. So if that's something that I can encourage you guys with, especially in these times where things are so wild and so unpredictable, stick close to the Lord. Hold on for dear life, because your life does depend on it. Your soul, your spirit, like your eternal salvation depends on it so hold on tight to the lord and um yeah so thanks for spending this day with me um this wasn't a like day in the life this is what we eat this is what, what we do in the, from morning till evening like i don't know if i'm gonna do specifically like a, this is everything we do in a day or blah, blah blah i think there's just certain times where i'll feel led to record and it'll just be like hey this is my thoughts on this or this is why i do things this way in my family or, you know, try to encourage you guys with every vlog that I do. But yeah, it feels weird. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm trying to just be natural and be myself and not feel like I have to put on like this, make this this great thing, you know, and make it this huge high quality thing. Like the Lord basically told me, like, just keep it simple. Just do it. <laughs> like, just do it. And so I'm just doing it, just being obedient. But yeah, I would love to know how you guys are doing. And even just what your thoughts are on the whole revivals happening in America and in the world. And just your thoughts on these times and how you're getting through it and all that stuff. So I guess I'll see you in the next video whenever and whatever that is. Because I'm still going to be doing ministry videos. Um, it's going to be more just me and not the podcast with me and Jarrell just because of logistics. <laughs> it's just a lot harder to do with the both of us. So... I will see you whenever that is and just keep up and watch these videos here if you are interested. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.